reaching those hands forward with each breath out, trying to get them a little bit further whilst also pushing your bum down towards your heels. If you'd like to sink in a little bit deeper here, bring those knees just a little bit further apart, dropping your chest down towards the mat. We'll hold here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Now, if we all bring those knees just a little bit further apart, you can keep your toes together. We're going to walk our hands around to the right. Keep walking around as far as you can, really reaching those hands around. Now, we're going to think about our left shoulder just dropping down towards the mat a little bit, or our left armpit dropping down. So it's going to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Keep holding here. Another five, four, three, two, and one. Let's walk the hands all the way around to the left. Coming all the way around. And again, think about your right armpit dropping down towards the mat. Reaching those hands around. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Walking your hands back through centre. Walk your knees back in together. Hands come forward, bum comes up towards the ceiling. Chest is dropping down towards the mat. With each breath out, just allow your chest to drop down that little bit further. Beautiful, that's it. Keep holding here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly walking the hands back down, dropping your bum down towards your heels. Lifting up into Angry Cat, down into Cobra. Back through Angry Cat and into Child's Pose. Lift through Angry Cat, rounding that spine, then drop the waistband down, looking up. Round the spine back through Angry Cat and back into Child's Pose. Lift and round. Drop the waistband down, looking up. Just taking your time, moving through this stretch. And if you feel like sitting into any part for a little bit longer, like your cobra or even your angry cat or child's pose, feel free to do that. If you'd like to do some little shoulder checks through your angry cat as well, I mean, sorry, through your, your cobra, look over one shoulder, look over the other shoulder, come back through center, angry cat, child's pose. If you'd like to focus on your breath work here, breathe in through Angry Cat, out through Cobra and Child's Pose. In through Angry Cat, as you lift, out through Cobra and Child's Pose. All right, well, we'll do one more, meeting back in child's pose when we're done. Reaching those hands as far forward as you can, dropping your bum down towards your heels through your child's pose. Holding for five, four, three, Two and one, lifting up onto your hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, hip distance apart. 
Right hand comes behind your head. Open up through the chest, look up to the ceiling, and then touch your elbow to elbow. Lift, elbow to elbow. Lift, elbow to elbow. Lift, elbow to elbow. Looking right up towards the ceiling. Two more, and then we'll swap sides. One more. Dropping down, let's swap sides. Left hand behind the head. Lift, elbow to elbow. Lift, elbow to elbow. Lift, elbow to elbow. Lift, elbow to elbow. Beautiful, that's it. Keep going here. Three. And two. And one, pushing back into child's pose. Take a stretch, reaching those hands as far forward as you can. Beautiful, that's it. For three, two, and one. Lifting up onto your hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, hip distance apart. Drop the tummy into happy cat. Look up, round the spine through to your knees. Drop the tummy down, look up, round the spine, look through to your knees. Drop the tummy down, look up, round the spine, look through to your knees. Three more. Two. One more. Beautiful work. Walk your hands around to the left, keep your knees where they are. Happy cat, angry cat. Happy cat, angry cat. So your hands are roughly on 10 and 11 o'clock if you were looking at a clock face. Three more. Two. And one. Walking the hands back through centre and then over to the right, we find one and two o'clock. Happy cat, angry cat. Happy cat, angry cat. Happy cat and angry cat. Happy cat and angry cat. Three, two, and one, walking the hands back through centre, push back into child's pose. Again, reach those hands forwards, drop your bum down towards your heels. For five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work our way to a seated position. So cross those feet, hands come back, flip over onto the bum, legs wide. We are into our spine stretch. So if you need to use a pillow, Pop a pillow under your bum, or if you need to bend the knees a little bit, you can do that as well. Let's sit up nice and tall through the spine, point your toes up to the ceiling, hands in front, chin to chest, round, push forward, one, two, three, back up tall. Chin to chest, round, one, two, three, back up tall. Chin to chest, round, one, two, three, Back up tall. Beautiful. That's it. Keep going here. Try and get those fingertips just a little bit further with each pulse. One, two, three. Back up tall. Chin to chest round. One, two, three. Back up tall. Three more. And two. Last one, one, two, three, back up tall. Hands on either side of the left leg, chin to chest, round, forward, one, two, three, back up tall. One, two, three, back up tall. Beautiful, keep going now, that's it, one, two, three, back up tall. Five, and four, 
Try and get those fingertips just a little bit further with each pulse. Last one. Hands up either side of the right leg. Chin to chest round. One, two, three. Back up tall. Let's keep those toes pointed up towards the ceiling. So we're stretching through the back of the legs at the same time. One, two, three. Back up tall. One, two, three. Back up tall. Five and four. Very two. Last ones. One, two, three. Back up tall. Swing both legs in together. Chin to chest round forward. One. Two, three, back up tall, chin to chest, round forward, one, two, three, back up tall, chin to chest, round, come forward, one, two, three, think about your nose dropping down towards your knees, one, two, three, three more, one, two, three, two, And one. Bring your right knee up. Place your foot over the left leg. So right knee is up, foot is over the left leg. Left arm is going to hook onto the knee and we turn around to the right. Look over your right shoulder to the wall behind you. Beautiful, that's it. Holding here. With each breath out, see if you can get just that little bit further into the twist. Keep holding here, doing really well. 10 seconds to go. And three, Two, one, coming up. We're going to swap sides. So left foot over the right leg. Right arm hooks onto the knee and we look over the left shoulder, looking to the wall behind. Beautiful, that's it. Let's hold into this position and with each breath out, twist that little bit further. And twist, and twist. Keep holding here, 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Legs long, right foot into the side of the left leg now. All right, so we're gonna be dropping our chest down over that left leg. Reaching our hands down towards the leg, you can grab your ankle, toes, wherever you can here. Just think about your chest dropping down towards the leg with each breath out. You can use your hands here to just help guide your chest down towards the legs with each breath out. Beautiful, that's it, keep holding here. I'm going to hold it here for another 30 seconds. So we're going to be doing a minute on each side and then doing another minute on each side. So we get up to a two minute hold. And then with each breath out, just allow your chest to drop down towards the leg. Holding for another 10 seconds. And five, four, Three, two, and one, coming up. Swap legs. 
Left foot into the side of the right leg. Sit up tall, bend around the spine, dropping your chest over the leg. Grabbing hold here wherever you can, whether that's the calf, ankle, toes. With each breath out, just allow your chest to drop down towards that leg. seconds. With each breath out, dropping down that little bit further. Ten seconds. And five. Four, three, two, and one. We lift, swapping legs again. So right foot into the side of the left leg. Sit up tall, then around the spine, dropping down over that leg. With each breath out, just dropping down that little bit further towards the leg. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way back up. Last time, swap legs. Sit up tall, then around, dropping down over that leg. Grabbing hold of wherever you can here, whether that's the calf, ankle, toes, foot. And with each breath out, we drop down towards that leg. Thirty seconds. Ten and five, four, three, two, and one. Restacking the spine all the way up tall. We're going to bring our feet together, knees apart here. All right. Just bring your hands to your feet or your ankles, wherever they kind of land here. We're breaking this one into three moves. One, we sit up nice and tall through the spine, leaning forward. We drop our head down towards our foot, our feet, sorry, and then restack back up tall. Leaning forward, drop down, restack. So one, lean forward, two round, three, restack. And once you feel like you've gotten that, just turn it into one flowing movement. One, two, three. One, Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Three more, and then we're going to reverse this. Two. And one. 
Okay, for the reverse, we dive our head down towards our feet first, then start to straighten out, still leaning forward, then sit back up tall. Dive down, straighten out, back up tall. Dive down, straighten out, up tall. Dive, straighten, up tall. Three, and two, and one more, Dive. straighten, up tall, beautiful. Let's cross the feet over now, uh, so just into a cross-legged position. All right, so from here, just untucking the feet, so we've worked on these ones for the last few weeks, so we untuck the feet just so they're not tucked under the leg anymore. It just helps you drop your knees down a little bit. Hands down in front, walk or slide those fingertips forward as far forward as you can whilst keeping both sit bones right down on the mat. With each breath out to see if you can get those fingertips just that little bit further. Keep holding here. Hold for another 15 seconds. Each breath out, reaching a little bit further, but keeping the sit bones on the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Walking your hands around to the left now. So reaching the hands over, they're roughly on either side of your knee. With each breath out, just feel your chest dropping down towards the leg, keeping both sit bones on the mat. Fifteen seconds. With each breath out, get those fingertips just a little bit further away. And five, four, three, two, and one. Walking them back through centre, over to the right. Dropping your chest down towards your leg, reaching those fingertips forward. With each breath out, just trying to get those fingertips just a little bit further. Keep holding here. Hopefully you can't hear that smoke alarm going off in the background. Someone's cooking. <laughs> holding for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way back up. Let's swap those legs around. So bring your other leg in front. Keep those toes untucked. Hands in front. Slide or walk them down. Reaching them as far forward as you can. Just feel your chest dropping down towards the mat. Now, if this is a bit more of your uncomfortable side or not natural side to cross your legs, you may find that this feels a little bit more intense on this side. Just keeping those sit bones on the mat, reaching them forward. That's it, beautiful. Keep holding here. With each breath out, try and get them just that little bit further. Yeah, I can see your differences there, Steve. <laughs> Big difference on this side. Just try and reach them as far as you can. If you need to pull out of the stretch at any time, just 
bring the hands back, come up, and then just slowly walk them forward. Even if you need to just keep doing that the whole time, that can feel quite nice as well, just keep coming forward and back. All right, let's hold for another 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. We're going around to the right this time first. Hands over either side of the knee, jumping your chest down towards that leg. With each breath out, just trying to get those fingertips just a little bit further. And again, if you feel like this side is just a little bit too intense, you can always just walk the hands back up and then slide back down. Beautiful, that's it. With each breath out, try and get the chest down a little bit further. Fingertips just a little bit further, but keeping the sit bones on the mat. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Walking them around over to the other side. Chest drops, fingertips reach further away with each breath out, keeping those sit bones down. Beautiful, that's it. I know how you feel, Steve, this side for me it hurts so much more than the other side. We just sometimes we have those inconsistencies. <laughs> Keep reaching those fingertips forward. Doing well. We'll hold for another 15 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Coming all the way back up. Beautiful. All right, keeping your right leg where it is, bringing your left leg down by your side. So we're into this zigzag set. Now we're just going to get a nice stretch out through those hip flexors. So what we're going to do is walk the hands back as far as we can, or you can drop down onto your forearms. You need to move forward a little bit for this one. So coming back, bring the hands back as far as you can, or dropping down onto the forearms. Beautiful, that's it. Now keeping your head wherever is most comfortable. If you want to drop your head down, look up to the ceiling. Whatever works for you. We're holding this one for a good 30 seconds. With each breath out, just allow your body to sink a little bit deeper into that stretch. Drop the knees down towards the mat if they're not already touching the mat. But even if they are, you can still think about pushing them down and you'll feel that, that stretch gets a little bit more intense. So hold for 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back up, take your time. Lifting back up, we'll swap those legs around. So we're going to bring the left leg in front, right leg down by your side. Now same thing again, walking the hands back as far as you can or dropping down onto the forearms. Now just resting your head to wherever's comfortable for you. And with each breath out, just allow your body to just sink down that little bit deeper Dropping into that stretch a little bit more. And think about the knees pushing down and towards the mat or dropping down towards the mat. Got another 15 seconds to hold here. And five, four, three, two, one, lifting back up, 
Beautiful work. Let's push back into child's pose. So bring your hands around to the left, dropping back down into child's pose, having a stretch. We're going to move into our pigeon next. We might try and get into that two minute hold for our pigeon as well. So we'll do one minute on each side and then do another minute on each side. So then tuck those toes under into pipe or all fours. Drop your right knee down in between your hands. Drop your back knee and tuck your back toes. Now make those little adjustments here. We can take the back foot back further, create or create more of an angle with the front foot, and then into your preferred position, whether that's staying on your hands. Coming down to your forearms, forehead, or dropping your body down. Beautiful. Now with each breath out, we're sinking deeper into that right hip. You could imagine a balloon sitting inside your hip. And as you inhale, that balloon expands full of air. And as you exhale, squeeze all of the air out of the balloon, dropping deeper down into that hip. Inhale, expand the balloon. Exhale, squeeze all of the air out of the balloon. Going to hold for another 15 seconds and then we'll swap sides. And five, four, three, two, and one. Hands into the mat, tuck the back toes, either back to all fours or into pipe. Swap sides. Drop that left knee down, drop into your preferred position. Make those little adjustments if you need. Take the back toes back further or create more of an angle with that front leg. 60 seconds. With each breath out, just allow your body to drop down. Holding here for another 15 seconds. Of course, you can imagine that balloon sitting inside your left hip. As you inhale, expand the balloon full of air. And as you exhale, squeezing all of the air out of the balloon, squeezing or dropping deeper down into that hip. Holding for five. Four, three, two, and one. Either back to all fours or into pipe. Tuck the back toes. Drop the right knee down again. Drop the back knee and tuck the back toes. Make those little adjustments and drop into your preferred position. With each breath out, just dropping deeper down into that hip. Imagine that balloon sitting inside your hip again. As you inhale, expand the balloon full of air. As you exhale, squeezing all of the air out of the balloon. It's got 15 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, and one. Hands into the mat. Lift back to all fours or through pike. Left knee down, last one here. 
Make your adjustments, drop into your preferred position. 60 seconds. With each breath out, sink deeper down into that left hip. You can imagine that balloon sitting inside your hip and as you inhale, expand the balloon full of air. And as you exhale, squeezing all of the air out of the balloon, dropping deeper down into your stretch. 30 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, and one. Hands into the mat, either back to all fours or come into pike. Drop the knees, untuck the toes back into child's pose. Coming up can come into a kneeling position or a cross-legged position or if you'd like to sit on a pillow. We're just going to stretch out through the neck. So we'll start by just placing your hands down onto your knees, chin to chest, head all the way back. Chin to chest, head all the way back. Chin to chest. Head all the way back. Then right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left shoulder. Right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left shoulder. You're welcome to close your eyes here as well. Into our head circles now. Bring your chin to chest. Head all the way around one way. Chin to chest. Head all the way back the other way. Let's do one more each way. Beautiful. Bring your right hand up and over, placing it over your left ear, dropping your head down to the left. Yeah, a bit. Ooh, get rid of my party hat for this one. <laughs> Think about your left shoulder here. Let's try and drop it down away from your ear. So if you'd like to place the hand down to the mat, you can. Let's slowly drop our chin down towards our chest, feeling that stretch move through different parts of your neck. And slowly rotate back up. And we'll do that once more. Slowly coming down. And back up. And then when you're done, we'll swap sides. Bringing your left hand over your right ear. Drop the head down to the left. Think about that shoulder, your right shoulder now dropping down towards the ground. Down away from your ear. I'm going to slowly drop that chin down towards your chest. Feeling that stretch move through different parts of your neck. And then slowly coming back up. We'll do one more. Beautiful. That's it. Coming all the way back up. Hands on your chest. A light amount of pressure here. And then we take the head all the way back and off to the right. Stretch should be down that left side of the neck. If you feel like you get a little bit more from this stretch, just place that little bit more pressure just on the base of that muscle here. And then just take your head back just that little bit further so you can feel that stretch just a little bit more intensely. And we'll hold for another five, four, three, two, one, head back up, we'll reset, light amount of pressure, 
Head all the way back and off to the left. Stretch will be down that right side of the neck. This is a really nice stretch if you've been sitting at a desk all day. We'll hold here for another five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to drop our back down onto the mat. Just leaving your feet planted into the mat, dropping down. Arms come out to a T. And we're going to bring our knees over to the right, stacking them on top of each other. Our gaze can stay up to the ceiling or over to the left fingertips. And we're just going to sink into this position here. Now, if your shoulder is coming up off the mat here, if your left shoulder is coming up, you can always pop a pillow under it just to give it a little bit more support. With each breath out, we're going to start to relax all of the muscles in our upper body. So we'll start with the face, relaxing all of the muscles in your face, the neck, chest, upper arms and shoulders, forearms, fingertips. Just to completely relax down into the ground. All right, in 10 seconds, we're going to lift the knees and drop them over to the left. In five, four, three, two, one. Lifting the knees up, dropping them over to the left. Now our gaze can either stay up to the ceiling or over to the right, over to those right fingertips. Again, if your right shoulder now is lifting, you can always pop a pillow under it just to support it. And with each breath out, we're just going to continue to relax all of those muscles again through our face, our neck and our shoulders, our arms, hands and fingertips, just to completely relax. So in a moment, we're just going to finish off with a bit of breath work. Now we may run a minute or two over. If you've got to go, I completely understand. I'm sorry for running over. But if you'd like to stay for that breath work, we'll do that shortly. In five, four, three, two, and one. Rolling back over onto your back, lifting the knees up towards the ceiling and just find a comfortable position here. So if you'd like to stay here, you can, or you can take the legs long. You can pop a pillow under your knees or under your head or even into a seated position. Place one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly and we're going to get into some really deep belly breaths here. So we'll just take a few regular breaths first. Just feel your chest rising and falling with that hand. Welcome to close your eyes here again. All right, and our next inhalation, we're going to take the biggest breath into the belly that we can, expanding the belly full of air, stretching out that diaphragm, and exhale all of the air out of your mouth. Inhale deeply, feel your hand rising with the breath. Feel your belly rising and exhale all of the air out of your mouth. Just continuing here, feeling that hand rising and falling with your belly, expanding the belly full of air. Let's take one more deep breath into the belly and exhale.
exhale all of that air out. And return to a normal breath. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Move that body around a little bit. And just take your time coming back up. There's no need to rush. Well, thanks for coming, everyone.